Day two of our Smite triple header weekend is here, and today we're talking about Olorun, a relatively new Smite god who was added, well, today, June 25th. I'm not sure what year uh, off the top of my head, if it was 2021, 2022, 2020, uh, but somewhere around there, it was a relatively recent character that was added. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this character, Olorun is a Yoruba god, so a new Ur pantheon to the game that has not always been there. Um, a mage type character using magical abilities and of course a ranged attacker given that he is a mage um, we see here his basic look there is standard Ola run we're going to go ahead and rank his skins uh, yesterday I made better tiers here let's go ahead and update these names alright and here we go now we have our must have tier at the top great skin neat mid and oof I think pretty much all of those are self explanatory uh, mid being kind of our average tier only eight skins today, so this one should not take long. Let's talk about standard all around here. I think he is fantastic. Incredibly detailed. The white, blue, and gold, and silver all across his body really, really works. I love the belt specifically, as well as the tassels coming off from around his, I guess that's a cape, uh, but as well as underneath the belt. Um, honestly, his, obviously you're going to have it, um, but honestly, I would say that his basic skin is a must-have. It's going to be hard to beat that. Um, but I've already looked ahead, and I think some of them do, actually. Um, great, great skin starting off for Olorun here. Afro Fortune, excuse me, Afro Future. We see here a more futuristic-looking skin. This one is not bad at all. I think it is a great skin. Um, I'm a big, big fan with the vibrant colors they're using that don't take away from the character, don't distract you from the character, but actually further accentuate his regal look and his uh, aristocratic nature, at least in this image we see that i think this is a great skin love that teal color uh, for his suit here we have his golden skin and i'm gonna say his golden skin is is not really the best all runs it's odd because his the other two skins we've looked at have have had a lot of gold and i didn't really think they i actually thought they were great this one has even more and i don't know i just don't really think it went too well maybe it's the blue maybe it's too much blue uh, with the golden skins, they do try to throw in a lot of blue and gold. It is the smite colors. Um, I'm going to put it in mid at best. To be honest, I might lower this down to oof. I really think this is probably one of his weakest skins. Next, we have Infinite Ruler. This is a very unique and interesting looking skin. I am going to go ahead and, and put him in great skin. I think it's fantastic, but it is a little bit abstract. And... I definitely think there's a time and place for that, but it's not always going to be my time and place. Um, very, very interesting seeing his torso and legs not attached, as well as his arms disattached. Very interesting looking. Love. I, I do like the purple there. I Overall, I do like this skin. I think it's great, but it's just not a must-have for me. Interstellar. This one, a more futuristic looking skin. I'm going to say it's neat. Uh, what's interesting for me about this skin is just how large that helmet is. Uh, he looks like some type of uh, juggernaut, uh, Google juggernaut from Marvel, if you don't know what that is. Um, I don't know why his helmet is that big. That is my only concern with this. I like the tech. I like the simplicity uh, of the suit. Nothing too crazy, just technological. I don't understand why the helmet is so large, though. That's interesting. Um, neat at best there. Merciless Monarch. Did I get that name right? Merciless Monarch. This is a fire mage. Any fire mage you've ever heard of has not looked as cool as this. This is a fire mage. This is fantastic. Must have. Absolutely great skin. Moonseer. It's hard to follow. Merciless Monarch. And this one suffered for that. Moonseer is probably the weakest skin in my opinion. It's much more of a tribal, uh, down-to-earth looking skin than the more aristocratic skins we've seen. Honestly, though, I am going to put in Oof. I just don't think it's very good. Um... Especially compared to the other offerings for Olorun, I think they're pretty much all better. And then finally, we have Supreme. Um, stealing the... I was going to say stealing from Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme with this. There may be some elements. I, I think stealing is the wrong word, though. That's why I stopped myself. Um, I do think this is a good-looking skin. Actually going to put it in neat here, just because I do think that um, his original skin does a lot like the same kind of aesthetic a lot better um, so overall I think all run has some great great looking skins but also some middling ones as well 
um, today, the anniversary of when he's coming out. Yesterday, we also did Rama, and tomorrow we are doing Baron Zemedi. So if you are interested in that, come back to the channel tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section below how I did, and if there is another Smite character, another video game, or another literally anything that I should rank at some point. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Have a great day.